Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited because today we are taking a look at the all new 2020 Thor Quantum. This is model KM24. And what's really exciting is it's on the brand new Mercedes chassis and it's a great small class C diesel motorhome. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, we are taking a look at the all new 2020 Thor Quantum. And there's a lot of changes for this year, which I'm really excited to tell you about. And model is KM24, but the actual tip to tip length is 24 feet, eight inches. And let's get started with what powers this thing. This is on the brand new Mercedes chassis. It has the 3.0 liter V6 engine with 188 horsepower and 325 pounds of torque. And this is push button start. And when we go in on the inside, I can't wait to show you what the new chassis and engine compartment look like. But let's get started with the bunk over the cab. New for 2020, you can get a real nice shot of that. Uh, Quantum made the windshield a lot bigger. So the windshield was kind of like this, and now they extended it to that. So you have a lot of natural light coming inside the motorhome. Coming down the side here, we have outside television. Right here, with sound bar, you have a window on the outside. It's not frameless windows. I actually think last year they did have frameless windows, and they took away that feature. And then you do have some storage here. It does have a nice awning, full size, with LED lights. Let me show it. Great. Check out that awning. It is a nice, full size awning. And what's great about it, <coughs> you can pinch the awning so it leans one way or another for the rain. Coming down the side here. Oh, something else I really like. It's the full length of the RV, so you have a ton of awning space. Really nice size awning. Right here, you have a propane quick connect if you do want a propane grill. And then here, you do get a little bit of storage because you can never have enough. <clears throat> Coming around the back, you do have a 5,000 pound hitch, and this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Also, you have a backup camera. What's really nice about this backup camera is how it's integrated with that rear tail light. So that's just one less hole to poke in your RV. And it does have a one piece TPO roof with a 12 year warranty. Let's go up there and take a look. Great, up here on the roof, you can see that it's a one piece TPO roof. You have your max fan covers there. Let's go over and see the bunk over the cab. That nice big windshield right there. There's an antenna. Here's your WineGuard 4G Wi-Fi. And then it is prepped for solar right there. You can put a nice solar panel up here. And you have Max Air fan covers both there and there. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button what other salesman's gonna climb up on the ladder to show you what the roof has to feature? Coming around the driver's side, you have a great amount of storage right there. It is a 30 amp motor home. So this is where you hook up your 30 amp service. Right here is your 30 amp cord and a little bit more storage. You do have a black tank flush, that's right there. Also, your sewer connections right there. Also, if you see right here, this has both front stabilizing jacks and rear stabilizing jacks. That's a new feature for 2020. 2019, all they had was the rear, so that's nice. And then right here, this does have a Cummings Onan 
3600 LP generator. Now it is an option to get a diesel generator. We don't option them that way because that's a very expensive option. Wow, look at this storage. That's a great amount of storage. <laughs> I knew the pocket pneumonia. <clears throat> Over here, <laughs> your city water. Somebody's gonna comment. I have no pneumonia, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Over here, wow. This has a ton of storage for a Mercedes Class C. Now, some people call this a B plus. Did you know there's no such thing as a B plus? I'll make a video about B pluses. And then right here, you do have an outdoor shower. You also get a tankless instant hot water heater. Very nice. And then this is going to be your propane right there. Wow, look at that tank. That one kind of looks weird. The heck? Oh, nice. You know what that is? That's your uh, sewer hose holder. That's cool. Great. That's the outside of the Quantum KM24, but don't worry. It looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Entering this motorhome, this has a huge full wall slide, and as you can see, it makes it pretty tight when you're walking through, when the slide outs are in. But you know the best way to describe this RV, Jen? Hmm. This is a motorhome that is small while you're driving, but spacious while you're camping. You know, because how deep the slide is. Let's get the slide out open. I do have an upper respiratory infection, but don't worry, we're still here at work and we're still making videos for you. And while we're doing this, if you could, leave a comment down in the description below. Let me know what you like about this motorhome. Let me know what you dislike about this motorhome. The more comments and thumbs up I get, the more YouTube likes to promote the, my videos. So I really do appreciate it. <laughs> cool as you can see it is a very deep slide out but before I show you that let me show you the brand new 2020 Mercedes chassis check this out <clears throat> here's the key I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. Sirius XM Rady, look, Mercedes Benz, this is freaking class. I love the headlights. You have your backup camera there. No left and right camera for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that, but this is a really nice motorhome. I mean, look, you have everything at your controls here. You can, you know, you have your pluses and minuses, you know, your radium, your voice command, everything's here, and when you drive it, it is a great driving experience. So something I forgot to mention about the Mercedes chassis is it has this new uh, drive neutral reverse park. So right now we're in reverse. You touch it down, now we're in drive. You touch it up one, now we're in neutral. And then you push this button in and now we're in park. Damn. Fancy. Up top, you have a bunk, of a, a bunk over the cab. And what's nice is how they did put the Max Air fans in there, the Fantastic fans. And then that is motorized. So when you want sunlight, you can have it. And when you don't want it, you can retract it. Also right there, those are cushions. So when you turn the seats around, uh, it's like booster seats to become part of the living area. You have your television over here. Here's your dinette. It drops down to make a bed. And you do have 
hidden hinge cabinetry above the dinette, high gloss so it looks really nice, and then you have storage there, and storage here. Also what I'm a big fan of is how it has cup holders in the dinette, and because this is such a small motorhome, I'm a big fan of them putting the window right here on the slide out to give it a nice cross breeze. Also, you have these nice privacy shades. Over here in the kitchen, you have a nice solid surface countertop. Right here you have a countertop extender. A nice big single stainless steel sink with residential faucet right here. Cabinetry above. Very nice, very spacious, ton of cabinetry. You have a Furion stove top with glass cover right here. No oven, that means it's a microwave convection oven right there. Over here, this is the most storage in the whole RV. Look how deep that is. That's like a second bedroom right there. Wow, great amount of storage right there. Oh, uh, oops. Forgot to mention the refrigerator. It's an eight cubic foot fridge. Does run off both propane and electric. Did I mention that air conditioning is 15K BTU? I don't think I did, but it is. Over here's the bedroom area. Uh, it's one of those fold up beds. We all know I'm not a fan of those, but when people want a small motor home or they want a Mercedes that can only be 24 feet, this is what they have to get. But at least they have a nice big window right here and window here. And what's a big advantage, I think, to these windows over the frameless windows is... Jesus Christ! Oh, there you go. <laughs> the windows are very easy to get open when they're unlocked. And you get a ton of airflow right there. Also, if you do have somebody else going with you, you have this curtain for privacy. It swings all the way over, and you do have another fantastic fan right there. Here in the bathroom area, small bathroom, corner sink, has this. It also has the 360 siphon roof cap, uh, cap, so it won't smell in here when you drop a deuce. You have, whamp, whamp. A uh, plastic toilet. I hate those. I like this though. You have a nice big shower. Great. So that's it. Pretty quick review because it is a small motorhome. That is the 2024 Quantum KM24. It's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. What should I do first, Jen? What you like? Okay, first and foremost, I love the chassis. The new chassis, the freaking Mercedes lights, how aggressive it looks, how clean that is. Push button start. There is everything Mercedes did to update their chassis looks fantastic. That's the first thing. The second thing, I love the big skylight over the bunk. I love how it's push button, it's able to come up and down, and it looks incredible. Third thing I love is this full wall slide. I am not a fan of small motorhomes, and I told you I didn't like it when the slide out was in, but for this being a 24 foot motorhome, how spacious it is, it's short and stout, just like me. <laughs> Great, now it's time for the three things I don't like about it. And this one, I don't wanna say it's very easy, but it's very easy. One, that shitty plastic toilet. Did you get it? Yeah. Yeah. I hate plastic toilets. Start putting a porcelain toilet. The good thing about it is you can take the, that plastic toilet out and put a porcelain toilet in. No big deal. Number two, I do not like when the beds fold up in half to get the slide out in. Big pet peeve of mine, I am not a fan of that. But you have to do that to, because the motorhome is only 24 feet long. And the third thing I dislike about this motorhome is this right here. I didn't even mention this. Um, back in 2019, Thor started doing a touch screen 
and it looked really nice. And now they reverted back to these push buttons. I feel like they did that just to save a little bit of money. Speaking of money, Jen, you know what I forgot? The whole video? I didn't even mention the MSRP. The MSRP is $128,987, but we all know we don't pay MSRP, do we, Jen? No. Hey, can I give my opinion? Yeah. Okay, hold on. All right. So, Matt doesn't like this more manual um, control system, but we have like the new touch screen in our fifth wheel, and I actually don't like it because every time you want to go do anything on it, you have to put in the password. A lot of times it's, it's not like as touch sensitive as like your phone. So it's just a pain like to do something simple. It's actually kind of nice having the old manual on, but that's just, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hates me now and they love you. They're like, why are we watching that? Well, that's it. That wraps it up for Jen's RV reviews. <laughs> but that's it. That wraps up this video. Thanks so much for watching. Do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let me know the three things you love about this motorhome and let me know the three things you don't like about this motorhome. If you have any question about this RV or any other RVs or anything RV related, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. If you like small class C's like this that are around 24 feet, I'll have a video library of other brands and manufacturers that you're gonna wanna check out. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.